is Rod Lewis. Great to be here. It's been a long time. So many years away. I, I don't remember it being uh, this this many people. I don't think I've ever seen two tiger cats at Oshkosh. They're great airplanes, great flying airplanes. They're probably one of the most fun to fly. I'm Jessica Lewis Worth. It's wonderful being back. I love seeing all the aircraft and the people and the longtime friends that we haven't seen. And I haven't seen in 10 years here at Oshkosh. It's been really nice rekindling those friendships and just seeing what everyone's been up to over the last 10 years, really, since I've been here. I'm Sue Dawson. Uh, I have the privilege to find this airplane. We're at Oshkosh 2022. The mass of this airplane and how it goes. Well, it's for sure one of two airplanes that I call the best airplanes ever built. My name is Gordon Richardson. Really honored to be part of the Lewis Air Legends crew. Uh, I'm able to fly the Bearcat, which is my favorite thing to do. Uh, it is the pinnacle of propeller-driven performance. I can't tell you how many people either saw a video or were at the event and just talked about the sound. Love that sound. That was amazing. Love the sound. So it's just a different kind of uh, uh, air show airplane that you would you know you wouldn't normally see. Let's say at an air show. I think when I used to come and I wasn't a pilot, it would be very much like I just looked at every single airplane and I wanted to fly, especially the Warbirds. Rod's passion for, it's not like he's making money doing this, you know, but for the, you know, you, you put so much blood, sweat and tears into restoring and taking care of and preserving, preserving as part of history. How cool is it that it's how many years after World War II and we can, like, the, there's nothing like the sound and seeing and hearing and if you're lucky enough to be in one of the warbirds like and if people like Rod didn't restore them and keep them flying we you know people out of our generation would have no clue what, what that was like. I'm Conrad Huffstetler from Uvalde, Texas with the very rare Grumman F4F-3 Wildcat. I'm actually really excited. We're getting a lot of interest in the Grumman F4F. You know, there's a lot of larger Grumman cats here this year, and uh, they're much bigger and higher horsepower and more exciting, but uh, there's, there's a lot of love for the Wildcat, which is rare. So I've, I've been getting good reception. A lot of people are very interested in the early airplanes because they are now rare. My name is Avril Dawson. The role that I am uh, most excited about is I was offered the opportunity to fly co-pilot on the B-25. It is such an honor to be part of the Lewis Air Legends. Mr. Lewis is so kind and so nice and it's so wonderful for the Warbird community to have someone like him be able to have the airplanes he does. And there are a lot of museums around but they're not all flying airplanes. And so for him to get the airplanes out and have them taken to air shows so everybody can enjoy them is just unbelievable. This year they had the grooming flight and it's the first year that they've ever done this and we got all the groomings that we could represented here. From just the Lewis side of it, we brought two tiger cats, a bear cat, uh, a wildcat, and, and the wildcat that is here is a real Grumman wildcat. Uh, it is the only one flying in the world, and I think there's only two or three left total. So 
it's, it's a real big deal for that airplane to be here. I've loved Breitling watches for years, so I've always been interested in what they're doing. And I've watched them all along. I watched what they did at Reno. I watched what they did, you know, with with the various aircraft that they've been involved with, the L-39s, the Mustang, the famous dual prop Mustang also. My interest in watches is uh, there, my interest in what they do, and it's just a, a great get-together. It was amazing to see his uh, expressions because I was in an aircraft flying uh, next to the Tiger Cat he was in and um, just, you know, understanding the thrill that, that he got out of that ride was just enough satisfaction for me. So.